All right, when we come back, we will see something that you have never seen on TV before. So remember to stay tuned. Does this sentence sound familiar to you? Maybe you have heard of this before in one of your favorite TV shows like Guinness World Records. But have you ever wondered what makes you curious to find out more? Because I'm planting the seed of curiosity, whereby legendary copywriter Joseph Sugarman termed it as a slippery slide. Do you know what is the purpose of it? It is to keep your audience engaged. Let's say, for example, in copywriting, you want to keep your audience engaged to read your first paragraph to the last paragraph. You need to plant the seed of curiosity. Let me explain how it works. As human beings, we are all curious in nature. Let's say if we are curious about something, we tend to have a strong desire to fill up the gap. The same goes for your audience. If you are planting the seed of curiosity in your copy, you are actually creating an open loop that keeps your audience can't wait to find out more. But of course, don't overdo it because it will backfire. Now here comes the most important part. I'm going to share with you three methods to incorporate seed of curiosity in your copy so that you can keep your audience engaged throughout the entire copy. Let's deep dive in right now. Tip number one is to ask a question that makes your audience think. Now, as human beings, we don't like to have an open loop. We want to close every gap. We want to find out the answer wherever there's a question. So let's say if you want to engage your audience, you can try this method to ask a question in your copy by planting this seed of curiosity. Tip number two is to tell a middle part of a story and make it incomplete. Now, let's say for example, you are watching a movie trailer. Have you ever noticed that the trailer that you watch is actually the middle part of a story, which is the most exciting part? Now, by doing that, they're actually making you curious to find out more about the whole entire movie. So that is how you can keep your audience engaged by planting this seed of curiosity. Tip number three is to preempt your audience. What are they going to expect next? Let's say, for example, if you are writing a copy that relates to productivity, you can simply say, "If you want to boost your productivity, here are the three hacks you can use to save you one hour a day." Now, by writing this, you are actually preempting your audience. What are they going to expect next? What are the three hacks they need to know? So this is another way to plant your seed of curiosity to keep your audience engaged. All right, I hope this video is useful for you to give you an idea of how you can use the seed of curiosity to keep your audience engaged to read your entire copy. And let's say if you enjoy this video, please remember to click on the subscribe button below and leave me a comment to let me know. What kind of new topics that you are interested with, so that I can produce more of this video just to benefit you? Well, that's all for now, and I'll see you in my next video.